Hey, this is Lady C coming back at you with another video tip. And you know, in the last video I did, I talked about being careful not to hit reply all because you want to make sure that you don't have these email threads going on and picking up all these extra people on the communication. And all of a sudden you got information that you don't want certain people to see. And, you know, the reason why people generally do reply all is because they want people to see that I'm being proactive. I am keeping everybody in the loop and all that good stuff. But there is an issue, like in my last video that I stated, that it could get ugly. But in this video, we're just going to talk a little bit about how to prevent people from choosing reply all to begin with. So take a look at my screen right now. And here I am getting ready to create a new email. In my example, I'm not going to put the recipient's names on the to field. Instead, I'm going to add everyone's name to the BCC field, blind carbon copy. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because no one is going to be able to choose reply all. Now, I know some email systems will note that, hey, look, you don't have anyone addressed in this email. So as a word of caution, you might want to just put your email in the to field if you want to, to show that, hey, look, I am sending it to someone. And even though it's going to you, it's OK. So if anybody presses reply all, the only person that's going to get that message is going to be the sender. So these are some of the things that you can think about when you're working with correspondence and you're sending out emails. And I do understand the reason why some people want other individuals to see who's on the to field is because if someone inadvertently gets left off the message, then they will know, hey, look, you forgot to add this individual. And that's the reason why sometimes you may need to create an email group so that you can put the group or you can add individuals to a group, get that group approved if you're working in an office on a team. And if everybody knows, hey, look, this person's in that group, I sent the email to the group, then you can just put the group name on the BCC field and then you can send it out and everyone can then get that message. So there are different ways in which you can communicate in the office to minimize some of these emails going back and forth over and over again when it's unnecessary. And then sometimes I find in my office that some people want to be the first one to say, hey, look, I, I am identifying a problem with this message. And you, you know those people. You see them all day long. They want to be the first one to identify there's a problem with the message. And then they can like spotlight everyone or whoever the person was that made that comment. And that's why some people just stay out the loop altogether. And when they get the information, they just let it fall on deaf ears. They're not all for that. They're not trying to go out there on a limb going back and forth with certain people in their office. But there are those individuals that they want to be the first to show everyone in that group that they're the ones that caught the mistake. But anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope that you look at this as a, a good tip that can help you when you're communicating in the office. This has been Lady C, and I thank you so much for being in my audience. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.